Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Nate Dog here, and if you hear anything in the background, my bad. But apparently, somebody got some drunk company. So, yeah. Anyways, though, besides that, what is going on is I got my fucking first gaming laptop. Got me the Alienware M15X. Um. It's the size is 15.6 inches. I measured the screen with the bezel and it is actually 17 inches close to 18. But just with the screen, it is, I mean 15 um, inches actually. Below the six is the bezel, the six extra points. So, but besides that, downloaded games on it from Steam, and I have checked out all the details, upgrades, and everything. So, the highest CPU I can get in the socket for the correct socket is G1. If it's G2, that would be great. But if it's G3, I mean G3 that would be amazing but uh so what anyways so the cpu the highest i could find is a 400 and somewhat dollar cpu for use it goes for like 200 and something so uh yeah i may just get it used or brand new either way it could still hit that price for that 400 or 300 for the sale so uh, besides that that would be the 940XM and could take the QM CPUs but the highest CPU I could find for the G1 is the 940XM for the G1 socket. Now it takes 90, 988 pins and yeah. But uh, that'd be for the i7. Did try to look up for the i9. Didn't find nothing. Didn't find anything for the even the G2 for the i9. I'm sure they only got it for the G3 and probably up. Whatever they call those. But um, besides that, what not for the GPU slash graphics card. That will be for the highest I can see on YouTube. For going four years, two years back, is GTX 970M video card. That'd be DDR3. And my video card I have in here now is the 290, which is one gigabyte. And shit plays okay at low settings on Black Ops 2 and Borderlands 1. And for both games getting around 50 and 60 um, FPS so that's pretty damn good at low settings and on um, Borderlands 1 some of the settings are on high and no medium so yeah but anyways that's pretty dang good but um, Borderlands really is not a graphics intensive type of game so yeah, on my desktop, I'm mainly stuck at 60 frames. I really don't go over, so that's amazing. That's pretty dang crazy. Anyways, though, the CPU I have in here now is the 920XM. So that's still basically the card I'll be upgrading to. I mean, the CPU. And. You already know what a GPU I have in there. And the resolution for this laptop is 1080p. That'd be 1920 by 1080. And try to overclock it on the BIOS, however that was working, by 1920 by 1200, which didn't make any difference, no difference whatsoever. Seems like the max clock for the memory is 1600 hertz. So I haven't found any videos up on it about upgrading the RAM only up to 8 gigs. 
and that's with two four gigs RAM running at either 1600 or 1333 or whatever hertz so really never seen the video going past 16 gig I mean 8 gigs up to 16 or 24 or 32 and I was planning on upgrading it to at least 32 or 64 gigs at 2133 hertz so I don't know if I should spend that money on it without the RAM working or just go ahead and pay for it and take a chance and if it don't work I could sell it or let go or whatever for that price I pay for it and because it's still basically brand new really and I can only find it brand new not used for the RAM I'm looking at and even if it was used I'm sure it'd be pretty much five six percent off so mainly you basically buy it brand new but anyways so now most of memory I was looking up on Amazon for that exact computer and it was not marked as like unlabeled for the maximum so who knows what the speed is the max speed you can put on it and the max memory you can put on it so uh, I'm deadly I really doubt you can go over 80 or 100 fucking gigs of memory and for the hard drive obviously for any computer it's unlimited so you can add as much storage as you freaking want so four terabytes um, Samsung SSD hard drive I looked it up on Amazon now and now the price has changed it's around 700 or something or 800 or something fucking dollars or around a thousand and something dollars for the best one to have runs at 520 something or 30 something megabits per second or milliseconds which is fucking extremely fast it's like almost six gigabytes going through on write speed fucking download speed everything all of that so it's really mainly worth getting so but for that price when you could pick up two two terabyte hard drives for 90 something dollars or 100 and something dollars unless you want to go with a different ssd going for like 300 or something for the two terabyte so that add up to about i guess uh close to about 400 or something dollars maybe a little bit more so if you get the four terabyte samsung ssd hard drive spending 700 800 thousand or something dollars with that card you can wind up getting the second two terabyte hard drive and still save a little extra few dollars so it's up to you if you want to go ahead and do that or just go ahead and figure what you want to do but one terabyte definitely not worth getting when you can get you a two terabyte just for a few dollars more at a higher clock speed a megabit or whatnot so uh yeah but i'm gonna say ssds really to me it's not worth getting no matter how many gigabytes it is i would just go with the best price for what i need for storage and mainly that's basically about it because we really don't use no games I'm, i mean editing um shit while we need an ssd for high speed to get shit done quickly so uh besides that uh get what you fits your needs and everything i will be upgrading the cd drive with a blu-ray drive mines take a fucking what should we call it a 12.7 millimeter a mm hall um drive so it's not the 9.5 or 9 yes 9.5 or 9.6 i believe millimeter um drive so my take the bigger size and i looked at every single one of them and there's really no difference at all whatsoever except for the smaller size so i'll be good so i really can't pick the wrong blu-ray drive so this one has cd drive that i have now and it does play any other cd except for blu-ray so that's good now so besides that 
the screen. I looked up for the 1080p screen that I could only find on Amazon, the only one I could find, and there was only two left. And it was going for 220 something dollars for the 1080p screen. Could not find a 1440p screen, could not find a 4K screen for this computer. So I could find lower resolution screens for this. So apparently, the person that had this before me had upgraded the screen to the 1080p screen. That would be 1920 by 1080. So, highly thankful for that. And apparently, the CPU that was in there had been downgraded. So, the CPU that supposed to be in there from buying it from the manufacturer, brand new, was supposed to be the 940XM. So, he apparently must have grabbed that out and switched it with that one. I don't blame him for that one, it really don't matter. Anyways, though, and it's supposed to be actually. 8 gig, I mean 16 gigs of memory on of RAM from the actual manufacturer. So he must have took out one of the 8 gig sticks or both of the 8 gig sticks, depending on 4 gigs. So I think he must have had them unless he just got one in there. But it shows for two um, RAM sticks. So, anyways, though, he made some changes on it and the video card that was in there supposed to be in there is the uh shit I really I don't know I think it's the 970 or the 960 or something like that somewhere around there or what not something newer than what I have in there now so apparently he switched that out too and mainly uh besides that that's about it except for the hard drive the hard drive is actually supposed to be two 500 gigabyte hard drives or one terabyte and one 500 gigabyte hard drive so apparently he switched that out too anyways though it's still all good the computer works it's damn quick it takes over 40 some seconds or about a minute for it to get to windows from booting up to the whole full screen without even putting any packs codes pin codes or whatever it takes about 40 seconds or about one minute to get to the whole, whole actual home screen so I did that text run three times without me overclocking it and I did it with me overclocking it and it's still the same so with the SSD and I probably take 20 somewhat seconds to get to the home screen or maybe 15 so um, anyways though uh, besides that the Wi-Fi was good it's damn quick like you got an internet connection into it but it'd be like a cat 5 but I have cat 7 internet um, cables and I hooked that up into it and I really don't see a difference but I would say it's like about three or four seconds faster but um yeah anyways besides that you already know my upgrades I'll be doing to it and you already know the specs I'm pin down on it. And for that back and bottom cover, I want to go with red, but I cannot find none on this model except for black and silver. And silver is only for the back cover, so I cannot find them for the top, bottom, and back. Well, I found one for the back, but um, besides that, for the back piece, it will cost 60 or 100 something dollars for that. And I did find the black covers for the bottom and top going for 200 or something dollars. So, is it worth it? No. And for the screen itself, it will be around a uh, hundred and some dollars for me to change out the display if I need that. I'm trying to find the glass piece for this monitor because it's scratched up and it's shattered on the top right side. So, it's not really bad, but it's cracked. Anyways, though, this is Nate Dark. We'll let you know more soon. And, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. And older is never worse than newer. So make sure you find your laptop you're interested in. And if you want mine, this is the Alienware 15, I mean M15X. This is Nate Dark, and peace.